To sports now and baseball, the hottest stock in pitching is not in the majors. Michelle Steele is here with a look at the money behind the pitcher's mound. Michelle? Hey, Eric. Yeah, a lot of anticipation here for long-suffering Washington Nationals fans. They had the number one draft pick last year because they had the worst record. Uh, Steve Strasburg and his 100-mile-an-hour fastball. Now the season has started. Strasburg is nowhere near a major league ballpark. The Nats are delaying his debut until at least June while he plays uh, double-A ball in Harrisburg. So what's the deal? You know, here to answer that question is Rick Horro. He's author of Beyond the Box Score and Bloomberg News Control. Contributing editor, he joins us now from Chicago via Skype. Rick, good morning. Good morning. A lot of baseball. Toronto. I was at a couple of days ago. Cubs yesterday. Today, no superstar rookie. No <laughs> Steven Strasburg. And we'll yeah. explain why. Well, you're preaching in the choir. I'm a Cubs fan. But Rick, what is this about? For a fan who's sitting in the Nats Park, this has got to be frustrating on one level, right? This isn't just about his development as a pitcher getting used to a five-day rotation. A lot of people said his numbers were good enough last year to be in the Nats starting rotation right now. What's the story? It's not about that. It's about the Benjamins. It's about the dollars. Keep this in mind, 172. That's the number of days an official major league calendar year is for contract purposes. Now, for free agency, it's a big collective bargaining thing. The general managers know these numbers. But just to simplify, after six years, you're a free agent. You get these huge contracts. And because of that, a team wants to limit the number of years before you become a free agent. They lose control. 172 days is prorated. And therefore, if you keep a guy in the minor leagues for a certain amount of time, it doesn't count for major league service. You get that back year. So Washington national fans, you're not going to be competitive this year anyway. I know it's a bad thing to say, but you'd rather keep the guy around and save him for that sixth year when the team can control him. It, it saves them some money and it keeps the guy there at the back end. Right. So slowing down his delivery on the mound, perhaps, and slowing down the delivery of those paychecks as well. So let's talk uh, uh, brass tacks here. How much money could the Nationals potentially save by bringing him up in June instead of debuting him now? Let's remember he had a $7.5 million signing bonus. That's guaranteed. Then the rest of the contract is prorated over a three-year period. The total amount of contract value is $15 million. It's really complicated. The bottom line is they can save up to $18 million all told based on certain calculations mm -hmm. if they save him until after Memorial Day. By the way, the Nationals open up June 4 and 6 against the Cincinnati Reds. Buy your tickets now. You may see him then. Yes. Yeah, speaking of the Reds, uh, Araldus Chapman also, uh, I think, in Triple A ball right now. Anyway, Rick Horro, thank you so much. Contributing editor for Bloomberg News, Eric and Deirdre Beck, over to you.